Hi everyone and welcome back to another healthy keto eating show. I have got a beef and broccoli cheddar cheese soup here. You guys would have already seen it. I did a slideshow video on it but thought I would come in and do a eating show and just say hi and touch base with everybody and go over some things with keto. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. I'm sorry you guys have been just getting the recipe slideshows but at least you're still getting videos. That's the most important. You're getting all these new recipes and being able to you know enjoy all the different things that keto can provide with all these recipes i come up with my keto cookbook is going to be giant i have almost 200 recipes and like 70 treat videos so it's going to be a big keto cookbook i am super excited about that if you are new to my channel let's start off with this right there is the red subscribe button please subscribe to my channel and then right underneath it is the bell go ahead and ring that bell and you'll be notified of all of my uploads that way you get to learn learn and grow with us and learn keto and all my recipes that I come out with. I recreate pretty much everything we used to eat. I have recreated it into keto. If you go into my playlist, you'll see a uh, keto style mukbang and recipes. You'll see all the different ones I've done. And then I also have keto treats under my playlist. Check that out. And then also, if you could for me, since I do all of this for free, teach you guys keto, help everybody that emails me and asks for help for macros and all of that. If you could share my channel through Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, word of mouth, however you can to help my channel to grow so I can help many more people get their life back. I want 2020 to be a great year of health for so many of you. I want the entire world to get healthy and know about keto, even though keto is getting bigger and bigger and so many people are getting so healthy. It's just amazing. Um, and then if you could shoot me a thumbs up, which makes me know that you guys are enjoying my videos, it helps my channel to grow and it makes me smile. It really does when I see those thumbs up and it takes a quick second just to hit that thumbs up for me. Now, let's go over real quick. I was taught professionally, if you're new to my channel, I was taught professionally on the ketogenic way of life because I have a heart condition. So I have a heart doctor that's keto, I have a ketogenic doctor, I have two keto nutritionists, my brother who teaches this as a job and all the studying I've done myself. I have been ketogenic over four years. I started November 2015, uh, November 4th, and um, I lost all of my weight, 150 plus pounds in 15 months, and then with the exception of a little bit more throughout the journey, I'm over 160 plus pounds. I was a 3X, I was almost 300 pounds, and now I'm down to, like between 128 and 132 is where I sit, and I went from, like I said, a 3X down to a size small, and um, jeans, I wear a two to four, and I used to wear a 24 jean. I lost it quickly because I was taught that this is a high fat diet but people need to understand that the high fat doesn't mean in foods if you are overweight and doing this for weight loss it means the fat that's on your body you want to use that as your high fat so you want to try to go lower fat you you know eating lower lean meats and not using a lot of butters and oils the oils we can use is coconut oil olive oil avocado oil you want to try to avoid those avoid butter avoid mayo things like that use light mayo light sour cream light cream cheese things like that just while you're in weight loss mode Mode. Once you get to your goal weight, and it, it doesn't mean you have to drop really low in fat. I just mean where they tell you to do like 150 to 200 grams of fat a day, um, you do, would do more like 75 to maybe 80 grams a day. Some people a little lower if you're not really losing. Some people a little higher if you're working out. So I just mean you don't got to go extremely outrageously low. I just mean try to use the body fat as much as possible so you get the weight off quickly. Because the biggest thing is, is people don't get to go weight. They get discouraged and they gain all of their weight back. That is what it is. All these diets we've done. And keto is not a diet. It's a way of life. It is changing the whole world. Everybody's getting healthy. So yeah, just understand that you want to use your body fat for most of it and not eat a high fat use your body as your high fat it is a 20 or less carb a day some people can go a little over if they're working out some people have to go a little under you just got to kind of play with it but you can buy those uh, ketone strips or the blood uh, draw to check your ketones to see if you are in keto and if you are maybe you can eat a little bit more carb but the magic number they say is 20 or less a day keeps you in a state of ketosis which just is a big word for fat burning mode your body is always burning fat for fuel and then of course um you want to uh uh, have your protein, half your current body weight, a little bit more if you're working out, you can have a little bit more. Um, just, you know, current body weight is the most important. Protein is the most important macro out of all the macros. And macros just mean that's what makes up your calories, your fat, your protein, and your carb. That's what makes up your calorie deficit. So you'll always be in a deficit while losing weight. You'll always be in a deficit even while you are in maintenance. You got it. You're only going to be able to consume so much food, but I can consume 2,200 calories at five foot 
three at 128 to 132 pounds and I can consume that and not gain any weight. I have kept that weight off. March will be three years for me that I have kept my weight off and maintained this weight and I love it and I'm able to eat all these wonderful fats now and you know, I do good fats, nuts, and um, the coconut oil, the olive oil, the um, MCT oil, the avocado oil, butter, um, eggs, things that are, you know, like red meats, like good fish that's done with good fatty acids, stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I eat, you know, like a natural peanut butter, things like that that would be high in fat, but very, very good for you. Avocados are a really good one. So that's what they talk about with the high fats. You don't want to do high fats like processed foods and all that. That's not good for you. So just understand that this is also a high fat diet when you get to maintenance, but you want to eat good, healthy fats. So I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, I do link my email down below. Definitely, if you you know are watching my videos but still don't understand and want to be set up on a macro plan, a calorie deficit, then come in and email me because I have to ask a few personal questions, weight, age, gender, height, um, you know, a few exercise, things like that, so I can set you up on a perfect plan for each and every one of you because you'll all be different. And I would love to help you. So, and I do all of that for free. I help all of you guys for free. And I love every minute of it. I do believe this is my calling of God. I lost the weight myself. I'll never, re never, ever go back to the person I was. I will never forget the person I was. Every time I see an you know, overweight person or somebody obese, I want to help them. So I love helping anybody that needs help because I want you to be able to be in my shoes. I want you to feel the way I feel every day. I have a heart condition, postpartum cardiomyopathy. I developed back in 98 when I had my son. It's not, you know, was nothing from keto or anything. This was way back in 98. I was 22 years old. I had the heart of an 83 year old. My heart only functioned at 8%. The upper left ventricle was enlarged by double the size and my function, my ejection fraction was only 8%. They thought I would face a heart transplant. I went on meds. I was on 20, like 20 different meds and I was on them for like 16 years. I just, I tried many diets, tried to lose weight. Nothing changed. My cholesterol was high. My triglycerides were high. My blood pressure was high. I had, um, I was pre-diabetic. I had stomach problems, IBS, PCOS. Um, Gurge, I had everything, I had everything wrong with me and I cured everything by doing keto. I also was eliminated off of all those meds except for one. So 19 meds went, 19 of my heart meds and like one or two was for cholesterol and one was for the stomach. And all of the meds are gone and all I take is one called Corrig. It's a beta blocker that I take just to help the heart has improved. It's almost 50% you guys and most people sit around 50 unless you are an athletic person, you might be a little higher. But I sit around 50 today, a little under 50, but right there really close to 50 off all of the meds and doing extremely well by eating healthy ketogenic foods. And I did it by using most of my body fat to lose the weight and now I eat good healthy fats. And I am keeping all of the pills away. I'm doing so good, my heart's improved and that's what improved it. Nothing else would improve. None of the meds were working, nothing was working. The highest I think I got my number two, my ejection fraction, they call it the um, uh, EF. Um, was uh, the highest I got it, I believe was 20 or 25. But when starting keto, man, I was just getting healthier and healthier. And every time I've had blood work done nine times and every time I've had it done, it's only gotten better. I am just doing amazing. I cured my prediabetes. Um, no longer do I have that. My cholesterol levels are good. Now understand when doing keto, your cholesterol will level up. That does happen because of the way we eat because it needs to protect our body. So having the, um, like your, uh, what do they call it? Your LDL and um, HDL. One of them is supposed to be lower, one's supposed to be higher. The one that's supposed to be lower is a little higher when doing keto. So don't worry about that. You can search that. You can read on that. You'll understand that we're supposed to be that way to protect our body. It's always healing and protecting our body. So, and when you go into fast mode, I do a lot of fasting. Keto and intermittent fasting work great together. 16 hours, what they recommend, or 24 hour OMAD. I'm right now doing the warrior diet, which is four hours where I eat and 20 hours where I don't eat. Um, so when you're doing a lot of fasting, you're hitting autophagy. When you're doing that, your body produces cholesterol, makes its own cholesterol. So especially when you're not, you know, eating a lot, you know, where you're doing, going long periods without food, your cholesterol, cholesterol levels will go up. I'm okay. The doctors have checked it all. Everything's fine. So just have that looked at. That is normal to keep your body functioning right and, you know, uh, keeping your liver and all your organs safe. And it is okay. It produces its own cholesterol. You know, we used to all think that high cholesterol was bad, but you know what? My cholesterol isn't terrible. It's not out of whack. It's not terrible, even off the meds. It's just that while I, you know, because I eat keto, it's supposed to be. And you can study that. Like I said, look up videos on LDL and HDL on, or LDL, I'm sorry, and cholesterol while on ketogenic diet, okay? And you'll learn certain things. I've, I've watched cardiologist videos on it. They recommend people doing it and it is okay. 
You know, don't have a doctor give you any kind of statins or whatever they call it for the cholesterol levels until you really see if you absolutely need it. If your triglycerides are low and good, mine are really good. They're only 85 and I used to be like 400 for tri 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 triglycerides. Wow, I couldn't get that one out. I used to be really high, but I only said at 85. When your triglycerides are good, it's okay for the LDL to be a little higher. So don't worry about that. But yeah, if you guys need that extra help, I'll help you. I'd love to help you. And keep watching my videos because I do a lot of teaching in the videos. I t I've done autophagy videos. I've done keto videos. I've done my journey videos. I've talked about keto. I do all these recipe videos. Just look at my playlist and go under and find all the different things to do with keto. And you guys will see all the stuff that I've done. And I've been I've had just pure success and I love it. There isn't anything that I would ever change. I will be ketogenic for the rest of my life. And in the over four years I've been doing it, I've only had nine cheat days. I didn't have my first cheat day, which is just off keto, um, eating something off keto. I didn't do that till I was pretty much at goal. I was like 13 months in, 15 months is all it took to lose all my weight. Um, but I had my first cheat day about 13 months in. And then since then I've only had nine. I don't even like to cheat. I've done it basically just for my family, for my mom, for Thanksgiving. She makes great meals. Um, you know, my son for birthdays, my husband for, you know, for our anniversaries and stuff like that, but I've only had nine, you guys, in over four years. I know people that have had nine in a month. Try not to cheat. It's so important to remember you don't want to cheat. Would you cheat on your mate? So why cheat on yourself when you're eating? Because all it does is kick you out of ketosis, make you feel like crap, take time for you to get back in, take time for you to get the weight off that you gain because you gain water weight. Um, because this is a diuretic way of life. You'll get rid of inflammation and water. So when you go off plan, you gain that back like six, eight pounds. Some people can gain up to 10 pounds having a cheat day. So just remember, it's not worth that it takes time to get back into keto and all of that so try to get to goal weight and then if you want to have a cheat day you'll be strong enough because you'll never want to go back so just make sure you're tough and strong before you have that first cheat because it messes with the mind messes with the head and really you know makes you you know crabby and makes you want to have that food again just eat good healthy keto foods make keto treats i have made so many treats that i don't need to go off plan and it's all ketogenic so just look up my keto treats and my keto recipes and find great meals i've made cheese sticks cheese curds hot um uh, corn dogs i've made mozzarella sticks i've made uh chinese dishes i've made italian dishes i've done pizza dishes which is italian dishes um i've done uh um, Salisbury steak. I've made cocoa wheats. I've done uh, cinnamon toast crunch cereals. I've done um, desserts, uh, cheesecake desserts, all kinds of desserts, cookies, and just all kinds of stuff that I have made. I mean, I just can't believe um, the McGriddle. I came up with the McGriddle keto style. I mean, just it's, I have over 200 recipes. Go in there and look. I've recreated almost everything. I made a tater tot hot dish. I've made just a, <laughs> all these side dishes. Um, uh, potato salad, coleslaw, I mean, you name it, cornbread, even cornbread. Go in and look, you guys. You're not going to believe the recipes I have come up with that I, that we used to eat that now we can eat that's ketogenic. And I keep everything really low in carb. So yeah, definitely check it out. I can't wait for the cookbook to come out. All right. Now let's go ahead and eat. Like I said, you guys have already got to see the video on this, but I thought I would enjoy and make a video because I haven't done it in front of the camera for a while. You guys are getting just these quick little slideshows. I wanted to come in and just chat and see how everybody's doing. Touch base with all the new people. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for my old subscribers. And I hope that you're enjoying my video. And again, this one, you already seen the slideshow on it, but hey, let's show it right up close in person and me eat it and let you know, even though I already told you in the video how delicious it was. Mmm. Mmm. Beef and cheddar cheese broccoli soup. It has got bacon in it. It has got that, uh, well, you already saw the recipe. If you didn't see it, it's got hamburger in it. It's got... Um, the ragu cheddar cheese sauce, it's got heavy cream in it. It's got regular cheese in it, like a cup of regular cheddar cheese. It's got bacon bits in it. It's got um, the cauliflower, uh, or I'm sorry, riced broccoli in it. That just means it's all broken down. And then seasonings in it, and it's delicious. Now, if you want to save on fat, you wouldn't use the heavy cream because the cheese sauce is already going to be pretty, you know, heavy and fat or whatever, and you would use like ground turkey or a really low lean hamburger. You would do it and then strain it and drain it really good and rinse all, off all the grease. Um, so you could do it that way. That would save on fat. But if you're doing one meal a day or really doing a lot of fasting, then this would be okay to eat even with the heavy cream. Because it's only got a half a cup of heavy cream and this made three servings like you guys seen in the video, if you've seen it. And it's only for a full bowl like this, which was three cups, three cups in this bowl. Three cups each. That's what everybody gets. Three cups in a bowl. That's a lot of soup. And it's only six and a half net carbs. Oh my gosh, right? Mmm. 
This is good. My husband's going to like this. I'm having what's called Zevia. It is soda made with stevia. Now, there are forms of fake sugar that we really shouldn't have on keto. But what we can have is the stevia, the monk fruit, and the erythritol. Okay, those are the ones that we can have that are sweetened in things. This one is sweetened with the stevia. I know that sometimes you can't always find the stevia. I think Cub Foods has it, online has it. There's some gas stations that have it. Um, but if you can't find it and you want to do a soda, a lot of people can do get away with circles. Some people can get away for, with the aspartame. I do the aspartame. Circles was okay in the beginning, but it does knock my color down now, which just means knocks me a little bit lower, so I'm not burning as much fat. So, but I'm in maintenance mode, so I'm not too worried about that. But this one is the Zevia. This is the right one. This is made with uh, stevia, sweetened with the stevia, and I love it. It is a diet soda. This is black cherry, and they have a root beer one, and I'm not sure on the other flavors. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm positive I haven't made a video on this, but it tastes familiar because I know that I have done a video with this cheese sauce and hamburger. I made like a hot dish, so that's probably why it tastes close, but oh my gosh, this is good. Definitely tastes like a broccoli cheddar cheese soup. With the beef in it and the bacon bits, yum. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And then I season it up with just heavily pink salt, light on pepper, light on the oregano flakes. You want to go light on seasonings except for pink salt that you want heavy because this is a diuretic diet. So you want to keep your, you know, your uh, sodium level up to like 4,000, 4,500 a day. Believe it or not, we need that because we go to the bathroom a lot. Um, and I was one that couldn't. I used to retain fluid. Not when I started keto, man. I got rid of all the fluid. So it's another way of getting rid of fluid, and it does really work. But um, seasonings all say zero, but they're not because they are, like the food industry can write zero because it's a serving size. But when you go over that serving size, it starts to have carbs in it. So just remember, even seasonings, things that say zero. There are so many things out there that say zero, and people think they're zero. They're not. There is a calculation you can do. It's in my egg fasting video. If you go in and look under um, my uh, ketogenic lifestyle, I did a seven-day egg fast, and you can go in there, and my brother talks in there. He does like a little quick, uh, quick talk, but it's black. The screen goes black, and he tells you exactly how you do the calculation to find out if something is zero, if it really is zero, or if it's not, because there's so many things, like even eggs. Eggs say zero. They are just a 0 0.6, so they are really low for, for a half an egg, so for two eggs, Basically, it's it's a carb for two eggs. Um, like a lot of cheese says zero. It does have carb in it. Um, some pork rinds say zero. They do have carbs. Uh, just like like seasonings have carb. Don't ever use Pam spray in place of like, you know, trying to lower fat. Pam sprays say zero. They are not. That's if you did a, a little tiny squirt because there's like 270 servings. People don't understand serving sizes. That's when it becomes carbs. Don't ever use Pam sprays. Cook in a nonstick pan, cook in an air fryer, or cook in a little bit of water if you're making like chicken or something. Don't ever use, you know, try to stick, not ever, try to stick away from the heavy fats like that because that's what's gonna help you get your weight off quicker. Have some fat throughout the day, that's fine. Just don't have a lot of heavy fat. And if you haven't had a lot, then you can cook in some coconut oil, some olive oil. Just watch how much you're consuming. Mm. This is really good. I've already had my food for the day. This is my last meal for the night before I stop my four-hour window. It'll be done. So I've had other things today. This is not my only meal, just so you guys know. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. You guys got to try this. Look at this again. Like, let me show you up close again. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I've missed you guys. I haven't been in doing a lot of videos. I do miss you guys. I do miss doing my lives. I hope to be able to do it soon. I haven't even tried. I just don't think the internet here is good um, with my phone. And we don't have internet in the house Wi-Fi. I mean, I don't know how great the Wi-Fi is. So maybe I'll try it one Sunday. Maybe this Sunday I'll try it. Try to come in and I'll see if it works out. And you guys can all tell me if I'm lagging or not, if it's coming through. Maybe I will try to do it. I used to do, if you're new to my channel, on Sundays. Saturdays are Sundays, but I'm going to do Sundays. I used to do what's called Keto Live Questions and Answers. Answering questions for you guys. And, you know, and answer, or answering questions for you guys. You guys ask questions and I answer you guys on, um, you know, different things about keto. So I'll try to do that because I really miss that. I really miss doing that with you guys. I miss the live. I'm on for an hour, usually from like 2 to 3 or 3 to 4. It's usually when I do it on Sunday. So I will do my best 
Uh, this is a pre-recorded video. This will go up on Saturday, so I will try to come in. When you guys get this, this is Saturday. I'll try to come in tomorrow and do a live. I'll see what happens. I'll come in for a little bit. If it's if I'm lagging, then I'm just going to go off. I'll tell you guys I'm going to go off, and I'll wait until I, get, I can get some Wi-Fi in my new place here. But what I can do is if I'm going to go live that day, Sunday I'll come in then, and I'll do a real quick little, uh, kind of like an intro thing, just a real quick, just telling you guys that I will be in live so that way you guys know for sure Sunday. I'll just put something up that morning to let you know if I'm going to be in. And like I said, I'll, I'll give you a time too. I'll put a time on there when I'm going to be in. That way you guys can be prepared and ready. So just look Sunday, wait for that thing to come up. If you don't see anything come up Sunday, that means I'm not going to come in live then. I will give you a little warning of a, just a quick little, like a minute thing that'll just say I will be in live today at such and such time. If you don't see that, then you know I won't be live. So... Because I might try it out to see if it works. I don't know. But if I'm doing it and I'm lagging really bad, then I'm going to go off and wait till I get Wi-Fi. Actually, what I might do is you'll get this video on Saturday. So when you get this, this is Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. <laughs> um, and hope you had a great Valentine's Day, by the way. Um, but anyways, uh, what I'll do is maybe Saturday, I'll throw it in there maybe in the evening or maybe I'll put it up before this. I'll put, uh, that up just real quick. Cause it'll only be like a minute long telling you that way you're prepared for the next day. Maybe it's a little easier if I do that and let you know if I'm going to come in, but if you don't get it still check Sunday to see if I put one up Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed my Fashion Friday, my Valentine look. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, I didn't add a lot of stuff in. Remember, I pre-record my videos, so you got it for Valentine's Day, but my husband actually um, won't be, he has to work on Valentine's Day, so I don't get to go out for Valentine's, but we're gonna go out like Sunday. So I thought I would just do the outfit so I can load it and have it ready for Valentine's Day. That's why I didn't have any pictures of me and my husband in there. So together, because he wasn't dressed and ready for that day. I was dressed up for that day. But it was just cool that I could open it on Valentine's Day and have that Valentine's look. Mmm. This is so good, you guys. Nothing like a hot soup on a cold day because it's cold here. It's below zero. We've been getting some beautiful weather here. Like, for us in Minnesota, anything 40 and up is, like, amazing for us for winter because we get below. We, there's been times we've had 60 below with the windshield. And right now it's like below zero, so we haven't had that for a while, so it is pretty cold. But we're going to warm up again in the next couple days. We'll be back up into like the upper 30s, so it's just amazing. We're going to have an early spring. I know this year we've had a really weird winter. Hardly, we don't cut near the snow. I know you guys seen videos, but that is nothing compared to what Minnesota gets for snow. That's nothing. Excuse me. Um... But yeah, it's just been crazy. Like, it's just been really great weather. That's why I've been able to show you videos outside. And I know you guys are thinking, how is she doing that? How is she not cold? When we hit a true Minnesota and when we're 35, 40 degrees, it feels wonderful to us. Because when you get a windshield of almost 60 below, where if you walk outside for two minutes, you can get, you know, frostbitten. Yeah, then 40, 35 to 40 degrees feels wonderful to us. <laughs> and we still get hot summers too. I mean, we've had temperatures 110 and we do get the humidity. So, but when you're a true Minnesota and you can deal with that cold weather, and we just really haven't had that much. Because it is below today and it's cold. <laughs> Feels like it cuts you like a knife. So chilly. Speaking of chili, that's one I need for my channel. I know I did a video one day talking to you on a chili my brother made. My brother, Rob, who does keto. But I'm going to make one myself. I'm going to come up with one and do it for my channel. Because I don't want, I haven't done a chili for my channel. And that sounds actually really good. My husband loves chili. So, and with him on keto, I want him to have his chili. Ah, that was delicious, you guys. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Uh, beef and broccoli cheddar cheese soup. Yum. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was glad, you know, I was glad to come in and see you guys. Glad to kind of just break down a little bit on keto again, teach a little bit and say hi to all of you guys and see how all of you are doing. Again, I will try to put in something 
Maybe you would have got something before this letting you know that I'll be in Sunday um, tomorrow or maybe tomorrow. Just look for tomorrow to see if something comes in. If you don't see nothing, then I won't be doing it. Then I'll just, you know, hopefully give you a keto recipe. Again, I'll give you something. But other than that, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. hope you enjoyed this. I know it's the same as my recipe video, but just wanted to eat on here and say hi to you guys because I haven't been in for a while and just touch base with all of you guys. Again, if you need help, my email's down below. I love all of you very much. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.